we put our uh, water pump housing back on and our and our jacket back on our little manifold back on with our gasket and uh, we are absolutely leak free now which is fine um, filled the reservoir back up again and I cracked this little bleeder screw of course so you can let the air out and then fill your bottle up to where it says um, we have our clutch on and clutch goes bolt washer two rubber o-rings spacer and then it all goes in the clutch and then it bolts on to the end of the flywheel there and I use a a bar through that and torque that to I can't remember what the foot pounds is on that now forgot uh, we've started putting our expansion chambers on and first thing we put in was our exhaust can we have a spring here we didn't have a spring on this side one was missing so I swiped one of my wife's coat hangers and run it through there and I uh, did a little wrap and then I put a little spot of weld on it uh, one of the handiest things you can have in your shop is a little white 110 wire feeder welder they're very handy um, so in order to put your in order to put your expansion chambers on you start mag side first and then you've got a donut gasket here that goes and then you have a, a gasket that goes on the end of your expansion chamber not down in the bottom here <laughs> right there and you put that on your end of your expansion chamber and then put your expansion chamber in there and then you have three springs on the exhaust manifold and uh, you have uh, one or two springs here you have two spring, one, one spring here one spring there so you have two on each one of these so you have uh, two, four, six other springs that go on the outside of this so you have uh, three springs on each manifold and two springs on the can so we're going to get this all together and then fire it back up again and we'll set the uh, idle on it I idled kind of high when I first ran it so we'll go from there